Oh shit, I'm sorry, I didn't see you there. I'm just fucking with you. <laughs> What's going on, YouTube? I got something special for y'all today. Um, um, everybody knows that the 30th anniversary is coming up in um, 2013. But they're making a big fuss out of the 30th anniversary now. So I'm going vintage on y'all, man. I'm doing something super, super special today, all right? This right now, the watch I'm about to show you is what basically created a very special watch. The benchmark in G-Shocks, the 6900. Man. This is called... Um, the 5900 the first the first G-Shock with the trigraph or three-eyed monster you can see right there got the gold interface then like a a breezy blue then red and another blue um, an interesting function in this watch is and you can look close into that first eye you see the little hands in there it has um a analog a digital analog clock in there which shows 710 pretty awesome um this watch was basically a a, a benchmark this created what we have today this this was based this is 1990 right here this came out in 1990 over 22 years ago um if you guys ever get a chance to come across one of these and i suggest looking in those mom and pop stores that got a whole bunch of casios in them they might have to sit in there in the back um you might find them on eBay, but I'm not even going to lie. They're asking stupid prices on eBay. I've seen um, 200 without the bezel. It's all fucked up and shit. And um, I've seen them up to like $400, which is fucking nuts. But, I mean, it's the history of the watch. You know, it's, it's, they're expecting collectors to buy them. Um, now, mind you, when you find these news, the reason why you don't see bezels on them is that the resins that they used back then were a lot different than today. Um, it goes to something called resin rot, where it kind of dries out and starts to crack, and then it'll just crumble in your hands. Um, I mean, I don't mind wearing it because the spare parts are not hard to find, and this is a very, very, very special watch to me because this is history. I'm holding history in my hands. This is G-Shock history right here. I mean, I fucking love this watch, man. I, I'm. I, it's really humbling when when. I had this next to my other G-Shocks, and people that don't know, they're like, oh, what is that? Why do you have that? And I'm like, you know, this is history right here. This is one of my oldest watches. Very, very, very near and dear to my heart. Um, case back, shock resist. If you see, um, it says Japan, and then a the T after it. The T is um, for the factory it was made in. Um, this, if you press like a combination of buttons on this in a certain way, um, there's a pinwheel function where the eyes will start doing like this crazy pinwheel thing. I forgot how to do it. I'll um, be honest, I forgot how to do it. But it's really fucking cool. If I remember, I, you know, I'd show you so, so you guys can see how really cool it is. Um, really, really special piece. Yeah, like I said, if you guys ever get a chance, this is, this is history right here. I mean... If you can find it in the store and you can save it and bring it back and put it like amongst the rest of your G shots where it belongs, I mean, let it go to somebody that appreciates it because this watch is really, really hard to find and it's so beautiful. You see, in the dial it has like a checker pattern up here. Really cool. I mean, there's a few people that do have reviews on it. Uh, Fupal. Um, really, really knowledge knowledgeable guy. He has a lot of vintage pieces, man. I really like his style. Um, actually, I think um, Master um, Will, he has one. Um, and I think he was asking me about if he was to sell it, how much it, 
Hold on to it, man. Don't let it go. Hold on to it, man. It's a really special piece. Um, real quick, I want to give a shout out. Faded Royalty, really serious prim game. Really serious. I think you can still find this hat on their site, FadedRoyalty.com. Really, really nice piece. Um, also, the whole TCF crew, Chavo. No, you're not TCF. Um, you shouted me out. And, I mean, you're really, yo, you're more than welcome. If you're ever in New York, you can come with me on a hunt. You're more than welcome to join me. That would make a great collaboration video. I really enjoy making these videos. I love having fun with it, you know. Um, G-Dub, Monty, Guns, um, that dude, Mike, you know. The, that, the whole TCF crew, man. If I'm forgetting names, like I said, yeah, it, it's, it's the brain, not the heart. Um... Miguel, you know, I talk to Miguel every single day, man. That's 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 that's, that's a real close friend of mine. Um, he actually started on Facebook. If you guys have Facebook, he started a group that uh, uh he made me administrator of. It's called G Shock Illuminati. Um, please, 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 please join. Um, it's a great place that we can all come and just talk about G Shocks and you know anything related or you know. You know how that goes. And also, I'm also on Facebook. Um, Danny Handsome, space, my, M-A-I, add me. I'm always, that's actually where I show most of my G-Shots before I started really getting into this um, YouTube thing. Um, Brett over at Slingshots. Um, I keep forgetting to bring home that rap that you sent me last time. It's at work. I forgot to bring it home. But, um, you know, I'll definitely make a video of that for everybody to check out. And um, I'll, if everybody knows, I'm also going to be designing a few pieces for um, Slingshots. Also, me and um, Ayako have a Slingshots event coming up. And I'll keep you guys informed about that. It's um, a public event, so anybody can go. i um, looking forward to seeing as many of you out there to come and support us. Um, you don't have to buy any of our pieces if you don't want to, but just come and support us. Come hang out with us, have a drink with us, you know. Um, the whole G-Shock society, the whole, the whole movement, man, I love this, man, I'm loving this so much, man, if everybody took on the same concepts that we took on as far as showing each other love, man, this world would be so better, anyway, man, let's just have fucking fun with it, man, Danny Handsome signing out, shock the world.